It is time to start another podcast here at The Lounge. And as always, I want to thank all of you for being a part of The Lounge and for having such great supporters, wonderful people, and the community that we have built so far is only getting better. If you ever want to get in contact with me, you can go to the YouTube page. There's a way you can send me a message there, and uh, you can also email us, uh, members at loungingwithjohn.com. Um, again, that is, I told you wrong, subscribers with an S at loungingwithjohn.com. Send your emails and inquiries to that email address. Whatever it might be, I will get back to you as soon as possible and uh, try to answer any questions that you might have. Maybe you've got an idea for a video. Maybe you would like to merge with the lounge and come in and do a video with us. We would be glad to have you. Uh, There's several ways we can do that, no matter where you're at. You might be across the world, but we can all still work together and put you in that exact same video. Everyone also be sure, whenever you see Blue Wings in the lounge on our nights that we're hanging out, just give her a thumbs up, guys, and and tell her thank you for all the wonderful things that she does for the lounge. She does such a great job. And uh, Blue Wings, we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for you, because you have given me motivation beyond uh, just like all you supporters out there so for that said we're going to move on and we're going to talk about a couple things something that I find uh, to be very important and it's unfortunate that that we go through some of the things that we had to deal with and I hope that my opinion can maybe uh open up people's eyes a little bit better to come to a better understanding. And that's got to do with those that have been through drug abuse, uh, using drugs, and now have decided to change their life by going through the recovery steps. Everybody has a different way that they do it. And whatever way that is, that's not what we got to look at. We need to look at what it's doing for them and how their life is changing by the second, by the minute, by the hour, and by the day. Uh, I feel that those that have been through these situations are judged uh, very poorly. I feel that it's unfair for people to judge someone who's been through these situations. Look. The thing you got to remember is just because you've never done drugs in your life, hell, maybe you've never even drank in your life, but does that make you better? Or did it just make you maybe a bit smarter decisions? And a lot of people confuse that. They think because they didn't do something like that, that they're better. Does it make you better? It just means you made better choices in your life. Something that we all do every single day, we have to make choices. And every choice that we make follows something that impacts that choice. So, you decided you were going to stop doing the drugs. You just want to stop the meth, or the heroin, or the coke, whatever it might be. And when you decided that, and you stuck it out, there were things that was impact. At least with your life. The day that you stopped was the day that your life instantly 
was on the road to be a much better, the road to recovery. I've seen people that have fell and went back. And then they stopped and they got themselves together. Now, me personally, I can't judge somebody because they've done things like that. Because that's not who I am. But I ask you this. Do you really want to be one of them people that when people see you, they know that you're one of them people that don't talk to people that's been through hard times like that? Do you want to be one of them people that's got that reputation of you thinking that you're better than everybody because you never done them things? Of course not. We are all human and we all make mistakes and sometimes we make the same mistakes and sometimes we make the mistakes more than once. You got to treat your mistakes as a lesson people and if you do that that's going to help you to do better. If you look at your mistake as a lesson on what you should do so you don't make that mistake again. There's only one outcome. And that's doing better. To not make that mistake again. I welcome. Every. Single. Person. That is going through these type of things in your life right now. I welcome you to the lounge. So that you can get around other people that you can talk to, that you can communicate with. Because that one person that you talk to could make a big difference in your life. You might be on the verge of wanting to pick that uh, or pick those drugs back up, whatever it might be. They're right there. You could do it, but you haven't done it yet, but you're close. You're so close, you can taste it. You can feel it. But you come in the lounge and you start talking to people. And it allows you to stop thinking about it. It allows you to stop thinking about long enough to where you get through another fiend. Another withdrawal. Listen, people said, well, John, you don't know what it's like to go through this stuff. I might not know what it's like for every single one of them drugs because some of them I've never done. I never will. But you don't see me judging you for it. But I do understand what you go through. Some get sick. Some of you feel like it's it's coming to an end. But then that, that goes away. But you got to be strong and you got to keep your eye on the ball. You got to focus on the reasons why you're stopping. And then you look at the beauty of where it's taking you. Maybe it's getting your, your son or daughter back. Or maybe it's getting you close to your family again. Or maybe it's helping you actually get a good job because you... No longer have them drugs in your system. Whatever it might be, if you look at the positive outcome of what you're going to get or what you have right now for staying away from the drugs and staying strong to recover, if you look at the positive things, you will get through it. That's not a guess. That's a fact. Now, back to those that want to judge. I welcome everybody to the lounge. But I just hope that we don't have to meet people that act like that. 
because most of the time, well, over at the lounge, we have to get up with the bouncers and have them bounce your ass on out the door. Because we're not there to judge anybody. We're there as a family, as a support group, as a community. We're not there for the hate and the fighting and the criticizing and the degrading. Because that's not what we do. So please think about that. Try to understand that they made a mistake, but they're trying to do better and that they want to do better and that you really have no right to treat anybody bad because they made the wrong choice. You know, it's one thing if someone goes out and murders somebody. Well, you've got a damn good reason to, to have bad, bad thoughts about that person. But we're not talking about that here. We're talking about, about people that made mistakes and, and went to doing the, the hard drugs. But they, they are changing their life by the second. Just try not to be someone that judges like that. Because we would rather have you at the lounge, having fun with the rest of us, and getting along. Everybody helps everybody at the lounge. And that's the way to always be. We're not going to be hating on people or degrading people. If you guys notice, I, I sent a, on a, a previous video, I sent a thank you out to Isaac and be our guest because he stood up for what was going on with people making up really bad names about me. He stood up. And he helped take care of that. And I said thank you. Even though there's some of you that don't like <clears throat> that don't like Isaac, that maybe even had problems with Isaac. But it's about respect. And and I respect anybody that respects my feelings and what I'm doing with this channel. And I didn't see one person hate on me because of it. Because that wouldn't be the right thing to do. Right? And then I, I uh, went to BBY. And I told him, apology accepted. Now we move on. Because that's what I do. That's what I do. I would rather fix a problem than add wood to the fire. I would rather just put the fire out and let it be done. Because that's the right thing to do. That's the mature thing to do. So for the whole point of, of judging, no one judged me for that. Because there's nothing wrong with giving respect and, and thanks when, when it's needed. Uh, all of us need to continue to, to, to lock arms together and support each other. Having each other is more than just having yourself. And you guys have changed my life. By giving me the encourage, encouragement for what we've done with the channel so far. And I appreciate that. I'm very thankful for that. And it means a lot. So, I think tonight at the lounge we're, we're actually going to be doing a live thing. And we're going to be talking about... Uh, Different things like that, maybe. I'm not fully decided. Um, but I'm thinking about dedicating Sundays for all of us that's going through something and, and 
uh, how we're doing with it and what we're doing to get through it. And maybe if we've got a question or we need an opinion on how to take care of something, I think that's what we're going to dedicate Sundays to, is Sunday night support group to support each other. I think that would be a powerful, powerful uh, meetup. And I think we can help a lot of people that way. So if you're going through something right now and you're not sure how to cope with it, come in the lounge tonight and let's talk about it. If you're going through something but you don't want everybody to know about it, but you still need some advice, then send me an email. Subscribers at loungingwithjohn.com And then I will talk as in the third person on how to resolve that problem and I will not give out your name. That's your privacy. That's your business. And it's up to me to respect that. So that's what that's what I'll do. Um, I really enjoyed last night's uh, hanging out in the lounge. That went really good. Everybody was really friendly and kind and generous to each other, and it, it was just—it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've got a lot of other ideas that that I'm kind of thinking about in the back of my head and 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 either way it's it's all about you guys enjoying it and and you know me making it fun for everybody so uh i've even got a game that i'm thinking about starting up and we'll see how that works out uh i'm doing a little bit of research to see how i would do that game but uh, yeah, <clears throat> we're going to have fun <clears throat> and we are going to have a game night. That's, that's going to happen. So guys, be sure to leave your comments, like, share, subscribe, and let us continue to work hard to see if we can get that thousand subscribers before May 10th and be the best birthday gift that I've ever had in my life. And it's, it's only going to take all of us working together to make that happen. So for that said, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just thought I'd talk a little bit about it. And just remember, to those that are going through recovery, you're not alone. You are not alone. Maybe you know someone going through it and they've not even been a part of YouTube ever. Bring them on. Inter introduce them to the lounge. Could you see what it does for you? Well, it's going to work for them too. Guys, I love you. I respect you. I appreciate you. And I'll be back here later tonight when we open up the lounge. I'm just going to say between 9 and 10. Because there's always things that can happen to make it later. Or maybe a little earlier. You know, you just never know. So, like, share, subscribe. I love you. And I, I hope to see all of you tonight. Bye-bye.